Hello everyone, welcome to day 27th of November Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. Without much ado, let's look at today's question. Today's question is product of array except self. In this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to return another array that represents the product of all the numbers that exist in that array except the number at that particular index itself. Without much ado, let's look at the example here. And the first case is 1, 2, 3, 4 as is given as an input array and it output becomes 24, 12, 8, 6. How? So if we multiply all the remaining numbers except 1, what will we get? 2 into 3 into 4 is 24. So we get 24 here. If we skip 2 for a second and what are, what are the remaining elements 1, 3 and 4. So product of 1, 3 and 4 is 12. We have 12 here. Let's forget 3 for a second and what are the remaining elements 1, 2 and 4. What is the product of 1, 2 and 4? It's 8. And let's forget 4 for a second. What are the remaining elements 1, 2 and 3? What is the product of 1, 2, 3? It's 6. The answer added becomes 24, 12, 8 and 6. I hope you understood this example and now let's, let's look at the PPT and let's try to devise the algorithm together. So let's move on to the PPT. Let me just take a pen. Product of array except self lead code 238. Let's take the same example that was specified in the question. The input elements are something like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. And in the first go, let's define the prefix product moving from the left to right direction. I'll tell you why and how it is helping us. So let's for a moment, let's define a new array. And in that array, we will write prefix product rather than prefix sum and we'll move from left to right direction. So let's build this array first. We have one at this place, so one stays here. Next we have two here, so two stays here. Two into one is two. This become, the product becomes two. Now let's move ahead, the next element is three. Three into two is six, so we get six here. Four into six is 24, so we get 24 here. Now we have completely built the first array moving from the left to right direction. Let's create another array moving from right to left direction and this time it will also be the prefix product. So let's start the process. The first element that we foresee is 4, so 4 gets here. Next is 3, so 3 into 4 is 12, so 12 gets here. Next is 2, 2 into 12 is 24, so 24 gets here. 24 into 1 is 24, so 24 gets here. Now we have appropriately built both the arrays one moving from left to right direction, another moving from right to left direction. And both these arrays represents prefix product, PP. Let's call it prefix product. I hope so far the approach is clear to you. Now let's talk about how, how are we going to use these two arrays to actually come up with the solution. So we need to do some visualization here. And let's talk about this particular element. What is the answer at this particular element? It would be equal to the elements to the left of it, the elements to the right of it. So what are those elements? We have 1, we have 3 and we have 4. So the left product turns out to be equal to 1. The right product turns out to be equal to 3 into 4, which is nothing but 12. So how can we exploit the arrays that we just created to actually retrieve this value? It's simple. What we need to do? We simply need to look up to the element in the left array, the left product, prefix product array at i minus one index, this particular index. And we need to look out for the right part using the second array, the right prefix product array and at i plus one index. So this value gives us 12, this value gives us one and pro product of these two would lead to the answer. Let me just take the pen to highlight it better. For 2, we will use two values, one highlighted by this particular index in the left prefix product array, other uh, in the right prefix product array at i plus 1 index. So this becomes i plus 1 index and this becomes i minus 1 index. And now we have appropriately set a value for 2 in the answer array, which is multiplication of these two. Let's proceed ahead. Let's take another case where we are using this particular index and where will we look out for? 
we'll look out for this particular value and we'll look out for this particular value 2 into 4 is 8 so we will write the in the answer array value 8 here let's talk about this one uh, what is the value at i minus 1 index in the left prefix array it's 6 what is the value uh, in the uh, right prefix array there is no value to the i plus 1 index so we'll use 1 as default so 1 into 6 gives us 6 let's move ahead and the last element that is left is 1 so again we'll do the same thing we'll look out for i minus 1 index in the left prefix array prefix product array and there's no such value we'll use 1 as default we'll look out for the value in the right prefix product array and it's 24 so 1 into 24 gives us 24 24 becomes the result so we have four values dumped into the answer array which is 24 12 8 and 6 which is an exact sync with what was expected in the answer and this is what we are going to do so now let's move on to the coding part and let's solve this approach here i have defined three arrays the answer array for solving the final answer the left array for generating the left prefix product the right array for generating the right prefix product and let's take a variable right prefix product and initialize it to one and let's loop through the input array moving from the left to right direction and uh, build our left prefix array prefix product array this one with each iteration we multiply left prefix product with nums dot i similarly let's do it for the right prefix product as well uh, def take a default case right prefix product equals to one move from right to left direction with each iteration you multiply the current element and update the right prefix product at ith index and once you are done with building these two arrays uh, let's extract the left product let's extract the right product and let's multiply these two together and build our answer array the important part is to have those corner condi conditions written appropriately if i is greater than or equal to 1 then only extract the left prefix product array otherwise use 1 similarly for the right part and in the end you simply return the answer array let's try this up 4 milliseconds 13.55 percent faster you could improvise it uh, but in terms of space at least i believe uh, we are using three arrays you can reduce this to a single array and in terms of time i don't think you can improvise it uh, because the time complexity of this approach is order of n you are iterating to the input array three times and that's it you can't go beyond reducing this value to log n or something space complexity since you are building the answer array it is order of n this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye.